What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's me, Mikey Pipes. Monday, December 11th, 2023. I've been getting such a, a positive uh, vibe and positive messages from from you guys, the community. Uh, I posted. I'm posting a lot more frequently on the Uncensored channel. And uh, you guys like it, so I'm going to keep doing that. I'm going to just put my thoughts, you know, on the camera. If you do it, you're going to get your shit pushed back. All right, I just left my first uh, appointment of the day. I gave an estimate to a, uh, a YouTube, I guess, someone in the YouTube community. I wouldn't call him a subscriber. He didn't say that. He said he watches my channel. He goes, oh, Mikey Pipes. He's over there in... Uh, in North Valley Stream, I just left his house. He's got a Burnham SIN4, 105,000 BTU gas-fired boiler. It's got a hydronic zone piped off the bottom of the boiler, and he's telling me he's adding water three times a day to it. There's no, there's no automatic feeder, but he's adding water three times a day when the system is running. And uh, his company, he kept saying to the company, the guy told me I need to replace it. He kept saying, I need to replace it, I need to replace it, I need to replace it. And uh, I kept asking him, I was like, has the reason, has the cause of the failure been resolved. And he goes, they told me to replace the boiler. I'm like, yo, bro, I'm trying to find out if the issue, the cause, which has has the effect of failed boiler been resolved. And he goes, I, they told me I need a new boiler. I'm like, okay, let me ask you a question, right? You, you're walking in, you know, the hood, Brooklyn, Bronx, wherever you are, Queens, and you get shot, right? You go to the doctor. And the doctor tells you you need some more blood because you lost blood, right? And uh, he goes, I don't have blood, but you need blood, <laughs> right? Because this is what's going on. Like, they, they don't replace boilers. He told him they need a new, he needs a new boiler. And I said, okay, so you, need, so you go get some blood, right? And then, um, you know, short period of time after that, you die, right? Because you ran out of blood again because the, the, the cause, which is the gunshot, hasn't been resolved. You need to get yourself patched up. The same way this boiler has failed, you need to get the boiler patched up. Now, you don't patch up a boiler, right? These professionals don't do that. The permanent solution, the permanent repair is a replacement boiler. Anyway, he's got this SIN4 gas fire steam boiler, 105,000 BTUs in his basement. He has a very, very nice high rise off of the, the you know, that first 18-inch um, piece that comes off the top of the boiler. That's nice, and, that's nice and tall. It goes up almost to the ceiling, and then it cuts across, and then he ties into an equalizer, and he picks up picks up one steam main. But he's literally behind a washer and dryer. There's really no room there to do anything. And I gave him a price of 14200 bucks, supplied and installed. So we're going to decommission and remove the existing gas-fired boiler, right? There's no basement entrance, by the way. You know, is we're going through a center center staircase of a Cape Cod style house. Uh, we got to move the washer and dryer out of the way. Uh, it's in a closet, and uh, you need. It's just a disaster, right? And one person is basically doing the job, while two other people there are are running parts back and forth. Right? It's still less than a day job, but it's you know it's a longer of a day. And then plus, you know, code states I need to insulate the piping, the piping that I put in. So that's a fair fair price. And he goes, whoa, why so high? Why so high? I'm like, I, I would say, why so low? <laughs> right? Why so low? Right? I actually, I, and I, I, I gave him the price. I forgot about the basement zone. Anyway. But why so high? Why so high? <sighs> anyway. I have a, uh, I have two service calls on my schedule today. We're going right now to one in Elmont. Some, uh, a boiler maintenance and then we're going to one in Woodmere we have uh, the boiler smoking um, smoking not cigarettes but smoking apparently the fire department came and shut it down and um, today Peter got a promotion yep Peter got a promotion he is now the office and warehouse manager he is going to assist the uh, ans in answering the phones he is going to, uh, you know, receive incoming material as it comes, as it, begins to, as it gets delivered to the shop. He is going to uh, run parts and material that, you know, the guys in the field need. And um, he got a little bump in his salary, you know, a little raise. So I think that we're going to try that out 
hopefully that works out well for him. Um, like I said in earlier videos, uh, you could bring a camel to water, but you can't make it drink. I gave him an opportunity last Friday to actually repair a, a Whale McLean wall hung boiler. Um, <laughs> and I'm disappointed in him that he didn't take up the offer, but it is what it is, you know? This is not for everyone. What we do, what my guys do, what we do as a team in the field is not for everyone. You know, the service work, you could be the best plumber in the world. You may not know how to, you know, repair a boiler or troubleshoot, you know, a furnace. So that's it. I'm right down the block for my next job. Let me pick this up after that, uh, that maintenance visit. All right, so here I am at my next service call. A little slight drizzle. 8.20 in the morning. Ring the doorbell. Obviously, there's no cars in the driveway, and you can see into the garage. I don't see any cars there either. I'm like, let me guess, there's no one home, and I ring the doorbell, and sure enough, there is no one home. <laughs> but it's a ring doorbell. Everyone's got a ring doorbell, so uh, I call him. He goes, hey, Mike. And he was like, yeah, I knew who it was. Like, uh, yeah, I see you in my doorbell. I, I just took my daughter to school. I'll be there in like two minutes. I'm literally, um, I'm literally, uh, the school's five blocks or four blocks away. I'm like, okay, no problem. So that was five minutes ago. <laughs> right? <laughs> oh my God. So we got a little slight drizzle. It comes to the territory, you know, if you're doing service, you know, you give people time windows and the majority of the time, everyone, you know, everyone's time is respected. You know, we show up on time, uh, you know, respecting the, the client's time and um, the client is home for the appointment, respecting our time. It's a win-win situation. When, there's a, when it comes in, it, it's occasional, very, very, very occasional, but it does happen, you know, in maybe a hundred service calls, maybe one or two. Um, well, it looks like he just pulled up and he's got like an infantry sticker, like a military infantry sticker on his, uh, uh, a bumper sticker on his car. So we thank him for his service. Right. What's going on here? <laughs> In the neighborhood a while ago, like a couple years ago, the internet went out, right? Yeah. So, and then all your connected devices stopped working. Ready to go for a walk? Let's go. Come on, let's go. Go for a walk. Let's go. All right. Are you doing your business? There you go. Make the pishy. <laughs> Doggies. All right, ladies and gentlemen. It's about 5.30 in the evening. Been home for a couple hours. Doing a lot of paperwork. Man, it's a little chilly out today, tonight. And I made a decision. I listened to the feedback from the community and I made a decision. I'm going with the, the far, as far as the pickup truck. And trust me, I got a lot, a lot of feedback. A lot of feedback. And I have decided that I'm gonna actually do a couple things. Number one, I'm gonna be in the field a lot less. Well, not a lot less, less than I am now. And I'm going to get myself a new a pickup truck. I'm getting the Toyota Tacoma Platinum. I'm getting doing this like midnight gray metallic with the uh, matching rims and the black leather interior with the power running boards and the heads up display. And it's about thirty thousand dollars less than the GMC. Denali HD Sierra is way overkill. And plus, technically, <laughs> that Denali Sierra HD is technically a commercial vehicle since it weighs more than X amount of pounds. So I'm going with the Tacoma. I wasn't even about the price, you know, just what looks nice and what works for me. All right. That's time for some espresso martinis. All right, well, hold on. Sit. Hey. 
Shut the fuck up. All right. You guys want some treats? I think they want some treats. I take that as a All right. First things first. Let's turn on some lights. And we have to light up the fifth light. There you go. And when the wife gets home, we will do the other two. This is my menorah, and that's my wife's menorah. Okay. Now, we're going to turn on the coffee machine. Okay. And I'm going to show you step by step. Step by step. Step. How to make the most banging espresso martini. <clears throat> your ladies, make sure you keep your panties on. All right. I'm going to take some sugar and put that into a cup. Okay. Now I'm going to make two ounces of espresso. Make that extra strong. Okay. While that's we doing need that. Two ounces of Kahlua. Okay. I have ounce and a half shot glasses here. So let's fill this up. And look at this. Look how I'm doing this one-handedly, by the way. There's one. And a half, and that gives you two ounces. Not really, okay? Was close enough. <laughs> so there's the two ounces of Kahlua. Any kind of vodka, same thing, two ounces. So there's roughly an ounce and a half. And another half, okay? Oops. That's all right. You know, if you if you go too much, you can always pour yourself another. <laughs> now, we're going to take this cup of espresso. All right, and we're going to take a little plastic stirrer and stir up the sugar. Okay? Like this. Okay? Now, we're going to pour that into there. Okay? It looks like most of the sugar is out. We're gonna take some ice. Okay. Like that. And by the way, you HVAC professionals, can you tell me how to get rid of this, by the way? Look at that, isn't that nasty? I have this stuff, let me show you what I have. I'm not an HVAC professional. I have this stuff here, the Viper, right? Tell me how to use this. I'm trying to follow the directions and I'm just lost. Remove ice from bin, drain, and refill with fresh water. Like, how does this work? This is a Scotsman, right? And if you guys want, there's the, the sticker, okay? Please email me, Mike at MikeyPipes.com. Um, I'll send you a bunch of free stickers. I may even give you a reach around. But tell me how to clean my ice machine because it's looking pretty nasty, okay? Now we're going to take this into the shaker. We're going to shake it, all right? You're going to shake it like a Polaroid picture. Oh yeah, oh yeah, here we go, baby. Okay, now we're gonna take a martini glass. Okay, no, you're not getting any. There it is. I've done this a few times, it fits perfectly. Just like that. Okay, and we're not done. Oh no. We're not done yet. Cinnamon. Okay. Look at that. I'm sorry. That's a $45 martini at Nobu. Just so you know. What? I made a mess. It tastes much better. Mm-mm-mm. All right, while I'm sipping on the, this martini, espresso martini, let's play some bloopers. All right, well, there's your failed heat exchanger. Can't make that up. There it is. Time for a new boiler. One of the best things about House Cold Pro, shows you a picture of the house. As a service technician, I can't even imagine the countless times that I'm looking for a home, looking for the address I'm going to, 
it's always that one house that doesn't have a number on it. So one of the great things about a house called Bro, it shows me a picture of the house. I know exactly where I'm going. Link in the description box down below. <sighs> Don't you just hate it when you know what address you're going to, but the people just don't have to be kind enough to put a house number on that's visible. Well, that's why I love House Call Pro. House Call Pro shows me a picture of the house I'm going to. There it is. And not only that, it tells me the approximate value of the home, how many bedrooms and bath, and how many square feet. Not that it's really necessary in course of the job, but it does help to know the kind of like house we're going to. There it is. So that's the house I'm going to, and it's right in front of me. You know, I hadn't been here in quite some time. I couldn't, I had difficulty finding the house, but then I remembered I'm using House Call Pro. And I'm looking for that house right there. Looking for that house. That's one of the features I love about House Call Pro is that it shows you a picture of the house because sometimes you guys know they don't have house numbers on the houses or it's hard to see, it's at night, whatever, but when you have a picture of the house, it makes easy, finding it that much easier. And that's one of the reasons why my company, Pipe Doctor Home Services, trusts House Call Pro for our CRM programming. Not only can we do dispatching, we do our invoicing, payment receiving, scheduling, and it also manages and tracks your employees' time. Check them out, link in the description box down below. Have you smashed that thumbs up button yet? Do you know what this thing can do to you? Smash that thumbs up button. Make sure you subscribe. Do it now.